Cardia Pavonis Alchemy, The Peacock's Tale. This is Alchemy of Stephen's School. Check out my sun dome. There's a little bit of action going on in here, even though we're not in direct sunlight. And it's uh, evening time now, so... Um, late afternoon, early evening. Uh, so the temperature out here is going down, and it's not in direct sunlight. But still, uh, the solar oven is working. The matter is uh, coagulating. The uh, liquid level is um, vaporizing and condensing up here. So this thing is very efficient. I'm going to open it up. I am seeing some peacock's tail going on. We're going to take a look at that and we're going to have a talk about the peacock's tail of alchemy. Which is interesting because researching it and doing it is a lot more enlightening. Um, I, I learn a lot more by seeing it, you know, not just researching it, but seeing it as the changes occur in the glasses, it helps understand everything by seeing it. And so with that level of understanding, I've prepared a speech here. Let's take a look. We see the material floating on the surface. It's been described as a thin film or an oil reflecting iridescent colors. Now, as I said, we're not in the direct sunlight, so if the direct sunlight was overhead, it would probably show the colors more. So we may have a look at that tomorrow again in the daylight when it's brighter. If I turn the flash on here. It'll help a bit. All right, and now for the speech that I have prepared. Cata Pavonis Alchemy. Cata Pavonis or the Peacock's Tail. It is the stage of alchemy that occurs at the end of putrefaction and the beginning of fermentation. Note that these processes recur over and over again in the glass many times before the work is, is done. So it occurs at the end of putrefaction and the beginning of fermentation, in which an array of iridescent colors appear out of the darkness, the darkness being the black stage in the alchemist's glass. Okay, let me start over. Cotta Pavonis, or the peacock's tail, is the stage of alchemy that occurs at the end of putrefaction and the beginning of fermentation, in which an array of iridescent colors appear out of the darkness in the alchemist's glass. This is usually described as a thin film or oil floating upon the surface of the prima materia, normally seen after an imbibition is performed. So earlier I did a good big imbibition we see all that liquid in there. And that's what's brought about these changes. So, when it was dry before I did the imbibition, that's known as putrefaction. And after I did the imbibition, it's now called fermentation. Which makes sense because if you make wine, it has to have the liquid in there before it can ferment, right? Exactly. So that means when when this coagulates again to the dry stage, what's it going to do? It's going to go back to putrefaction. And it's going to go through these stages a few times. Now the peacock's tail is also seen at other times, uh, like when doing the dry path of alchemy. But that's a whole other work. This is the wet path of alchemy. This is Alchemy of Steven School. Subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.